Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and in this video, I want to talk to you about the Southwire portable power stations. There are four different models, and we have made a series of videos to where we're going to talk about each specific model like we will do in this video. But as an overview, there is a 200 watt hour model, a 300, a 500, and an 11 100 watt hour model. These are all lithium ion batteries. They all have built in inverters, so you're going to be able to get that AC and DC power. And this is pure sine wave technology, so you're going to have clean power for all of your delicate electronics. In addition, each one of these units can be charged in six different ways. And one of those is with an optional solar panel that you can get from Techno RV as well. So in this video, I want to tell you everything that you need to know about the 300 series model. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So this is the Southwire 300 model. Again, it's a UL certified lithium ion battery. It's pure sine wave, so it's going to be excellent power for your uh, electronic devices and it's got a built-in inverter, so not only are you going to be able to power your DC-dependent devices, but also your AC-dependent devices as well. Uh, this unit here is 296 watt-hours, and what that means is that each device that you have has a wattage rating, and just for simplicity purposes, let's say I had a unit that was, say, 200 watt hours and I had a device that had a wattage rating of 50, I would be able to use it on that particular device for four hours. That's kind of how you come to that conclusion. So when you order this, what are you getting? Well, you're getting the main unit, the 300 model here. You're also getting a uh, cigarette lighter style car charger to charge this. You're also getting an AC style charger, just a regular wall plug uh, charger. You're also getting a uh, uh, barrel tip adapter kit in case you've got a unique scenario uh, of a particular plug and you might need an adapter. This comes with it. And then you're going to get the uh, instruction guide and operating guide as far as how to use this unit. Uh, it's a simple unit to use. Also, whenever you order this unit from Techno RV, you're going to get the Techno RV Learning Series. Uh, where we have kind of made our own guide on how to use this. We're always going to make sure you're successful whenever you buy anything from Techno RV. So what can you power on this unit? Well, a lot. Let's take a look at the front of this unit and uh, see what the ports are. So on the 300 unit, you get two AC power supplies, just regular wall plug power supplies. Up here on the top, you've got a DC input. This is where you're going to charge from, from DC. You're also going to get two standard USB 2.4 amp uh, ports, and then you're going to get one uh, QC 3.0, which is a quick charging USB port, and then you're going to get your Type C charging port as well. Then, if you move over here, you're going to have your standard cigarette lighter style plug over here to power something that way, and then you're going to have two 5 amp like barrel connector. Uh, ports here for DC as well. Across the top of all these you'll notice a button, a DC button, a USB button, and an AC button, and then that's how you activate that little power uh, bank. In addition, you're going to get an LED light. This light is extremely bright. It comes in a couple of different brightnesses, and it also has a flashing mode on it as well for like emergency type situations. As far as the display is concerned, it's a color display, and it is going to display the amount of wattage that's being used. So theoretically, you could plug something into every one of these ports, but as you plug more devices in, obviously the number of hours that you have left on this particular unit will begin to diminish. So if I plug one thing in, it might say I have like 12 hours left. And if I plug another thing, it might say I have like 11 hours left. And the more I plug in, it'll make those adjustments for you as you plug different devices in. So you'll always know how much power you have with this unit. This unit has a industry leading six different ways to charge this unit. 
you can charge it with a car DC power supply, which comes with it, just a cigarette lighter in your car to this unit. Also, with the AC power supply that comes with it, you can also charge it with an optional solar panel that we'll talk about a little bit later. It's a 100 watt solar panel. You can also charge it with uh, the Quick Connect Type C and also a generator as well. You can also uh, charge this with AC and the Quick Connect Type C at the same time to get a faster charge rate. So let's talk about those different charge rates from zero to 100% charge with each one of these different modes of charging. When you're charging with the DC, it'll charge in four and a half hours. With the AC, four and a half hours. With the USB-C uh, charger, it's five hours. The solar panel is four and a half hours. With a generator, it's four and a half hours. And when you combine the PD with the AC, then it'll charge this unit in two and a half hours. Next up, let's talk about the measurements of this unit and how much it weighs. The 300 unit is 8.46 inches long, it's 6.3 inches wide, 7.56 inches high, and it weighs in at 7.61 pounds. The 300 model is good for a thousand charges or duty cycles, and this is from 100% down to zero and back up to 100%. That's one cycle. So that's very important because that is a very high number compared to competition. And also be aware that uh, we've seen some other uh, competitors on the market that'll do their cycle ratings on from 80% to zero and back, uh, where Southwire is like, no, 100%, that should be uh, the duty cycle. And so it's a thousand cycles and that's industry leading. Uh, and that's what you get with Southwire. In addition, this unit comes with a two-year warranty and when you get this unit at Techno RV you will have the option to uh, increase that warranty by up to three years with the Techno RV extended warranty program. Now as you know there's four different models. There's a one below this which is the 200. You got the 300, a 500, and an 1100. So how do you know if the 300 is right for you? And that really just comes down to what do you plan on powering this unit? Uh, it, like what devices are you going to be powering? Uh, is it you know just going to be cell phones and cameras and maybe a drone or something like that? Or are you going to be uh, powering things that are higher con power consumption type devices? Uh, one thing that you need to know is that you always you you don't want to, since this is a, uh, basically 300 watt hours, you don't want to power anything with this unit that requires a wattage level of over that that number okay so uh, which is a lot of different things and i just wanted to kind of cover real briefly like some standard type uh, wattage levels for some common devices that you might be using with this and then how long uh, how many hours that you could power the device with this for that particular device for example, like a phone or a camera, that's typically going to be somewhere around 10 watts. And this isn't exact, you need to make sure of your own devices, but if it was 10 watts, you could get basically, you know, 29, uh, 30 charges out of uh, this unit. Uh, if you have a CPAP machine and it's, it's the 40 watt variety, then it'll run it for seven hours. Uh, you can do a 60 watt mini fridge for five hours, a 50 watt laptop for six hours. Uh, even a slow cooker uh, that's, that's rated at about 108 watts, you could get three hours off of that. So as you can see, it's really all about what you need this device for, and uh, also it's, it's dependent on when you will be able to charge this unit back up. I mean, if you always are close to a method to charge this unit back up, uh, then you know, you have less worries than somebody that may be like off grid, uh, you know, for a while that needs to maybe charge phones and different things like that. So keep that in mind, look at your own wattage ratings of the devices you wanna use on this, and then you make your decision that way. So this is the Southwire solar panel. This is a 100 watt, 18 volt DC output unit. It is monocrystalline. And that just simply means that you're gonna get more energy per square foot. 
Uh, this comes in a nice, uh, tough Oxford cloth case. It comes with a carrying handle and it's quite small because this is a quad fold but while it is not open this unit is 13.79 uh, inches by 17.72 uh, by 1.18 inches now when i open this unit up it'll be 55.51 inches by 17.71 inches by 0.2 of an inch. Uh, so whenever you uh, open this unit up, well before I get into that, it, it does have this nice zippered pocket on the front of it and this is where you're going to find your cable to plug this into your south wire portable power. It is all just connected right to it. So you would take this and plug it into your south wire device. In addition, it's going to come with an RV ready adapter so that uh, for those of you that have uh, RVs that are uh, uh, wired for this, that you could plug this directly into that using this adapter here. So that folds up nicely there. And so let's go ahead and open this up. You just uh, squeeze the sides of the clamp here and it releases it and uh, these are elastic here so when you put them back in you can just draw them tight so release that side release that side and again this is a quad fold unit and you'll notice when you open it up right here it's got legs on the back so that you can stand it up and face it towards where the Sun is uh, so if I open the unit up like this, then I can take the legs out on the back like this, and then your unit will, and you just face that wherever the sun is at. Uh, so that's it. And then you would have, you would basically have uh, the power cable going to your battery. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set this up with the sun coming in from this side, and then I'll just set my battery just like right, right behind this. And, uh, and then it'll get a nice charge on that. And then uh, putting it up is quite simple. Whenever I stand it up, the legs just automatically go in. And then again, the quad fold, I just fold it back up, take my elastic band, pull it through. And it's about the most compact unit that I've seen on the market. Uh, and again, these are great for your Southwire portable power units and then also the adapter for RVs that might be ready for a solar panel. So that's it. That's the solar panel from Southwire. So that's kind of everything you need to know about the 300. Uh, again, you can get these over at TechnoRV.com. And as always, we're here to help. We're here to make, help you make your decision and we're here to help you after the sale as well. So if you have questions, about this unit you can always call chat or email with us we're always happy to help you i hope this has been helpful and we hope you have safe travels